Laws of logarithm C2 express as single logarithm using product or quotient law. So product law is when you are adding logarithms with the same base they get multiplied and when you subtract with the same base that gets divided. So I'll show you how it can be written. So this could be written as log of 2 and all have the same base. So we'll multiply 6 and 3 so we'll write 6 times 3 and we can divide by 9 since this is minus here, correct? Now what do you get? 6 times 3 is 18 and 18 divided by 9 is 2. So we get here log to the base 2 of 2 and you know what is this? This is 1. Do you see that? 2 to the power of 1 is 2. That is how it links, correct? Now let's do this one. Log to the base 3 of 4 plus log to the base 3 of 3 minus log to the base 3 of 12. So all of them have the same base. So they can be combined. So these are like like terms. You think like that. Okay. So now that gets multiplied. So we get log of 3 and we get 4 times 3 divided by 12. Now that is log of 3. 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 divided by 12 is 1 equals to 1. So what is any log of 1? Log of 1 is what? 0. Since 3 to the power of 0 is 1. Remember like this. 3 to the power of 0 3 to the power of 0 equals to 1 like this. 2 to the power of 1 is 2 or you can write 2 equals to 2 to the power of 1. Do you get it? That is how we'll, we'll this is like getting you into understanding logarithms. Okay. Now here log of 2 minus all this. So 2 comes in the numerator and all that comes in the denominator. And what is this? This is 8 times 25. So I could write this as log of 2 in the numerator and in the denominator 8 times 25. Correct. And if there is no base, it means it is base is 10. Perfect. Now what is this? 8 times 25, I can simplify this, right? 2 times 1, 2 times 4. And 4 times 25 is 100. So what do I get here? I get log of 1 over 100. What is this equal to? This is to the base of 10. So 10 to the power of minus 2 is 100. So I get minus 2. Correct? Think over it. Correct? So that is what you get. And this is how you simplify and evaluate the expressions. Correct? These techniques which we are doing at present, examples C2, C3 and C4, will help you understand the laws of logarithms. So, so try to go through them and then we'll do expressions and then equations on logarithms. Thank you.